So is the charged shotgun good? Well, in today's video, we're going to be testing it out and finding if it is better than the TAC shotgun. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like down below and click subscribe if you're new. 91% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. Please, guys, I'm almost at 800 subscribers. It would really mean a lot if you could help me reach that goal. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the charged shotgun. So I set up this whole shooting range area with the charged shotguns and the tacks. I could not find the gray variant for some reason in this mode, but I got all the other ones and I did a bunch of tests, close range headshots, fully charged, long range headshots, fully charged, body shots, you name it. So we can really compare the difference between the two. So off the bat, the charged shotgun has had a lot of hate and honestly, I don't really like it that much but after doing these tests it's actually pretty good the first time I used this shotgun which was yesterday I thought it was so bad because I was using it wrong and you might be too so with any shotgun in the game besides the charged shotgun you press your trigger or mouse and it will fire instantly with this gun you actually have to release either the trigger or your mouse and then it will fire that's due to the charge factor with this gun because you hold it down for however long I believe it takes one full second for it to charge hundred percent and then the second you release the trigger or your mouse it will fire so that's my problem I was kind of holding the trigger down a little bit too long and that's why I got the big delay and that's what I thought it was originally was a huge delay so I stopped using it but now that I figured out you can you have to release the trigger as fast as you can and it will be much more accurate so the first test I did was with the green charge shotgun I had my opponent stand right in front of me and I did a full charge headshot. It did 191 damage. This is huge for the green variant. However, getting this in game, there's a very small chance because you have to fully charge and the person has to be literally right in front of you. So it can happen, but it's not ideal to happen. The next test I did was a body shot pretty close to it stepped back a little bit it does 127 fully charged to the body which is huge if anyone's got even a mini on with the green variant they're toast but remember like i said you gotta get the full charge and make sure you hit it right in the middle all right now range fully charged and i'm talking like six spaces back this gun is actually pretty powerful i believe the first one i got like 58 and then the next one 49 or something like that and it really depends if you have the crosshair centered on their head but this range is still pretty solid for a shotgun definitely beats the pump shotgun and the tack moving on to blue fully charged close quarters headshot 200 damage to the head that's crazy that used to happen with the old legendary and epic pumps i believe they did 220 headshot but remember this is also charging it so it's not as good but that's pretty impressive for the blue variant now onto the body shot pretty close range it did 133 full charge also pretty solid and now the range shot fully charged i got 53 headshot and then 64 headshots so also pretty solid remember this is very similar to the combat shotgun with the range combat shotgun honestly had insane range i think it's way better than this one so pretty good though now the epic variant the up close fully charged headshot 209 also pretty insane getting up almost to like around the 220s which is what the legendary pump did before so yeah, I would say this, this gun has a lot of potential. And now the long range fully charged, it did 71 and then 72 headshot. I'm pretty surprised by this. Still, I'm amazed by the range and the fact that it's a shotgun, like that's, it's pretty crazy. All right, now the legendary variant up close fully charged headshot 220. There you go, the same as the pump shotgun from last season and many seasons ago. But remember, you gotta fully charge this thing and be pretty much right on their face for this to happen. Chances are very small, but you know, if someone drops in your box and you have it loaded up, which that probably won't happen because one thing that sucks about this gun is when you are charging it, it is freaking loud. Like everyone around you can hear this thing. It's like hissing at you and no one's going to want to drop down in front of you. So they're going to build and protect themselves. So unless you get like a default in front of you, you might be able to get that 220 headshot, but good luck with that. Body shot with the legendary variant, it did 147, and this is like about one space away. Pretty impressive. Definitely more than the TAC. Moving on to the long range full charge headshot, it did 65 for the first one, 
and then 66 for the second one. So not bad, not much of a change there from the last one. And here you can see I did a test, no charge with the legendary variant, just one pump to the head, 147. And remember that's no charge, so pretty solid. About the same that the tax used to do. However, the tax did get nerfed if you didn't know that. I think the max headshot damage the tax do now is like 128 or something, really low. I think the legendary one used to do like 184, so it kind of sucks. And then I did a close range body shot with no charge. It did 98 from about like one and a half spaces away. So almost at that 100 shot. I think if they were just a step closer, it would do the 100 and which is awesome. If no one has shield, then you can take them out with no charge. And then the mid rain head shot with no charge, it did 142. I think that was actually the same as the other one I did. So pretty solid. All right, now the legendary tack up close head shot. 124 that's it oh my god this thing had a huge nerf it used to do like 184 or something and it really sucks now because if you don't like the charged shotgun well you're stuck with the tack and it's not that good so honestly try and get used to the charged shotgun so overall my thoughts on this shotgun it's good it's just hard to get used to and i recommend practicing with it making sure you release your finger off the trigger or your mouse whatever you're playing on quickly so that you can get that accurate shot because I was missing pretty much every shot with this gun and the only bad thing about it is the charge and that it's super loud maybe in the future if they don't make the charge noisy at all I think that would be so much better because people wouldn't know if you had it charged up and if they did drop into your box you could get the one pump and it would be pretty satisfying if I were to choose over attack or a charge shotgun I think I would still take the tack just because the fire rate is so much faster. There's eight shots per clip, which is pretty solid. I think that's never changed, but yeah, with this shotgun, it's only three. I think I did not test the mythic one, but I'm pretty sure it just does a little bit higher than the legendary and it does hold five shots per clip, which is pretty good. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please drop a like down below and click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'm almost to 800 subscribers, so please help me out. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.